Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the rendering options within the Materials tab. And these are important, and in fact, uh, some of these, like this Halo rendering, well, if you take a look at some of my Tornado animations that I did quite a few years ago, some of the rendering of that was strictly Halos. That's it. Nothing, you know, it was just Halos with lines and things like that, and just kind of tweaking the colors and the shading. And it makes it work, you know, so that works. But it's kind of a... It's not a, uh, between that and the volume, it's not quite the same as we're going to try and get with cycles rendering. I'm waiting for volume, volumetric rendering to show up in cycles. I haven't seen it yet, but that's really what we're after in the long run. And, but let's just see how shapes of objects can make a difference on these. So let me just convert these, first of all, to halos, right? I'll convert that to a halo, and I'll just do a quick render. It's like, okay, and that's okay. So I'll turn that back. And this one, how about this? F12, I'm pressing F12. Whoops, I didn't change it over. F12. And that looks okay. And a lot of this is affected by all these parameters down here. Well, we'll get to that after a bit. A lot, a lot of times here, when I do halo rendering, I use alpha values like this. And this is a great preview in here. This just changes the shape of your preview. But So you change the alpha values. I'm re-rendering. These I use a lot, the rings. They kind of add nice texture to it. It the, depends on the object. Certain objects give better effects. These, these lines work nice for here. And uh, on the tornado animations that I had done, where you see maybe the one was taken off the roof of the house, that was a lot of halos with lines and a lot of particles, thousands and thousands of particles kind of densely packed amongst each other. But these are nice effects. But now let's take a look at, uh, let's see. Oh, I've got to escape that. We'll turn this into a halo, and we'll turn this into a halo as well. And take a look at the difference between the two when I render these. I mean, huge difference. That has all those points, and this is just a nice little point light. This makes for a nice little effect, you know, little glowing things that floating across the scene and things. And the other thing that I use a lot with this shaded modes, and especially if I'm in, uh, say, for instance, with this in volumetric mode here, this shade, a couple things make a big difference. The density, I'll just render that. See, it kind of simulates this volumetric thing really pretty nice. But this density, crank it up, get the nice preview. And the emission is the same way. You just kind of have to experiment with these. I've never found a way to have the perfect setting for every single object in every single scene. But this does make a difference, this sh these down in here. I've switched between these a lot on the shaded, you just have to kind of experiment. It all depends on your lights in the scene and everything else. But don't underestimate them because they are pretty cool. And I use them, uh, well, even, let me see. I think even in the latest Tornado Simulation that it about a month ago, that one has, I think that's a shadeless volume rendering is what I was using on that one as well. So, you know, you have to just experiment and uh, try things out using these, uh, Halos with, and we even try it with rings, rings and lines and things. These can add cool texture kind of effects, as you can see, like that. All right. All right. Well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.